So you saw how long I assessed, but I was treating at the same time, okay? Hi, my name's Timothy King. I'm a myotherapist. Hi, my name's Sarah Beach, and I want to give you a really warm Aussie welcome for joining myself and the amazing Timothy King for our online program that we've designed for you together. We want to unpack for you in this training just how simple some of these solutions can be for TMD, for headache, and also for orofacial, various autonomic orofacial dysfunction. So here we have Hannah. We're going to simulate Hannah is here for a dental examination. Obviously she doesn't have any of the protective gear on. She's just our volunteer and model for the day. However, she does come with real significant issues. Hannah has told us that she gets headaches in the temporalis area and that she has jaw joint issues. And when she chews steak, she particularly gets a lot of pain and fatigue on this left hand side. So we're going to have a look at that in the context of a dental setting. This obviously can be applied in the physio, chiro, in other settings as well. So I'll just take you through that. So first of all, I would ask Hannah to just gently open her mouth as wide as she comfortably can. And if you take note, when Hannah opens her mouth, it deviates to the right and then to the left and then clunks. Now slowly close your mouth, Hannah, so they can see it goes back in that way. And one more time, opening, notice it goes to the right, to the left, and clunk. Okay, so just close your mouth, that's it, and relax. So I'm just going to do an assessment now on your temporalis. So we're gonna go, just clench your teeth together for demonstration purposes, okay? And you should feel the temporalis pop out near the eye and just relax. And I'm just gonna go across these trigger points and Hannah can you tell me 0 to 10, 10 being the most painful, what do you feel along here? A 7. A 7. Now do you feel that all the way along or tell me when you feel it? I can feel it there, yeah. Yep. Okay, so it's pretty much a consistent 7 across there. Mm. It Less stops about. Stops about there. Okay. So you saw how long I assessed, but I was treating at the same time. Okay. Another way for dental practitioners to, um, to, to treat in the dental chair is if you're not, if you're not um, confident with doing the myofascial, neuromyofascial techniques, you can just do circles the size of a 10 cent piece. How does that feel along there, Hannah? What number are you feeling? This side, I can feel a nine. A nine, yeah. so significantly more, and we know that Hannah gets the problems, the pain on, on this side. So it all makes sense that this side is working harder, and although she's feeling it in that, in that masseter area, um, the temporalis is working really hard, so that's highly likely connected to these headaches as well. Okay, again, you would send to a body worker. Being a dental practitioner, I'm no expert in this. I just know that there is an issue here and it's all connected to um, her chewing. Okay, so that's that side. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the lateral pterygoid release. Now, what I do is I, I put my finger in there with my nail to the, the teeth. Um, Tim does it the other way. It's really much of a muchness with what you're comfortable with. Um, what are you feeling there? So I'm just holding it there. I'm not doing anything. I'm just literally putting it right up in the um, right up buckle to or, or beside the top back teeth. What number do you feel? Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now remember, Hannah. At any stay, stage, I want you to tell me to stop if it's too uncomfortable. Okay. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. When it's really exquisitely painful, I like the patients to be in control. So what I'll get you to do, Hannah, is to just bite your teeth together and release. Fast, yep, release, yep. No, just once, just once, that's fine. Open, open, okay. Did that shoot it up higher? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. And then I'm just gonna go in here, big breath in through your nose and release, okay? So now, Hannah, pop your head in the middle and now I'm going to retest because it's always really important not to just treat aimlessly but to retest as we go along so the patient knows 
that what you're doing is therapeutic, but also to guide you as a, a clinician on what to do next. So open nice and wide for me, Hannah. And close and open wide again. Now, do you feel any difference from side to side? If you listen, you can hear that clunk is a lot louder. Um, how are you feeling though, muscle-wise? Yeah, this side feels a lot more lighter than that side. Yeah, yep. I can feel a massive difference. Yeah.